Yes, that is correct. In case you didn't know, by the glorious ambiance you are hearing right now, we are going over Bond. Yes, Spectre, the newest installment of the Bond franchise. Now, Bond wasn't really... It was big in my day. There were a lot throughout the years since I've been alive. There, I, It really wasn't a big thing with me. Uh, I started... Uh, grasping onto Pierce Brosnan as one of my favorites, and then my dad was huge into Bond, and I end up flocking towards Mr. Sean Connery. Yes, the original Bond. Uh, yeah, he be slowly became my ultimate favorite next to Brosnan and Clark, uh, Daniel Craig. Apparently, I almost said Clark Craig. Now that would have been awesome, but again, not English. So bring it back. Um, yeah, Bond, uh, Spectre. Now, in case you didn't know, Daniel Craig has been doing a few, uh, has done a few Bonds, uh, he's done Casino Royale, uh, he did, uh, he did Spectre, obviously, he did, uh, basically from, I believe from Die Another Day until now, he's done at least six, I want to say six films, I don't know offhand, I'd have to look it up for you, um, but, we're talking about Spectre. Granted, now, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but I am um, I will tell you this. You need to watch the Daniel Craig franchise. Uh, you need to watch all of his films because it all links up to this. Now, I, now there has been some speculation on... Uh, him leaving Daniel Craig leaving the um, the the Bond persona uh, character, um, we don't know offhand. He's st I believe he's still up in the air about it. Um, but this the the way that it ends is it kind of looks like he's either going into retirement or going to you know following up on something. But it looks like the character is is going off into the sunset. But the the MI6 and the the James Bond project is continuing now. Again, why did I say you need to watch the uh, the other Daniel Craig movies? Well, because you need to. Everything links to to Spectre. Now the bad guy in this, uh, I'm not gonna tell you it is, but um, it's kind of awesome. He deserves that role. He deserves to be the bad guy. He kind of plays it well. Um, he's, he's going to be in the Hateful Eight, I believe. Yeah, he's going to be in the Hateful Eight. Uh, he was first time I saw him. He was in Green Hornet, so that was kind of cool. Um, uh, that's probably giving away too much already, but um, it was it was good to see him in that role. It was nice to see him in a Bond movie. Um, the Bond girl was uh, was interesting. There's like two of them in this one, which is kind of weird. Uh, I guess it was uh, Lena Sado. Uh, in this, uh, so, you know, take it as you will. That's, she's the main girl. And then you had Monica Belushi also. Uh, Belushi? I mean, it's spelled the same way, but it's not, it's probably not said the same way. Um, like I said, Daniel Craig is back. Ralph Fiennes comes in as M now. Um, Ben Winshaw, Wishaw comes back as Q. Um, you have Dave Bautista and Andrew Scott. I love that Andrew Scott was in this movie. Uh, it was too cool to see him in an actual film other than watching him on Sherlock every five years because Moffat, I'm not bitter, I swear. Um, so yeah, the, the cast was there. The, the, the thing is about the concept on why the villain is doing this to Bond is kind of retarded and kind of dumb. Sorry about the R word, but it, it was kind of dumb the way that they did it. Um... I personally didn't like his his, re, his the reasoning for him torturing Bond was kind of stupid. Um, it, you'll if you ever watch it, you'll understand it. I do highly recommend this movie if to watch in IMAX because it's exactly what you want in a Bond movie. IMAX explosions, you know, it, it definitely had you on the edge of your seat. But again, it's a Bond movie. It's very talkative, very boring, very British. You know, it gets to a point. So again, I I gotta say I I will recommend this film, especially if you're a fan of the franchise. Um, you're you're definitely going to enjoy it because it connects all of Daniel Craig's movies. It doesn't really link up to the others, 
Um, it, again, only Daniel Craig's storyline, which is kind of cool. So, again, we'll see where he lands when he comes back or if he doesn't come back. Um, it, it, although, it, it, was, it was just an interesting ending, the way that I saw it. So, we'll, we'll see what happens when, uh, you know, when next year, next November, most likely, because that's when they usually come out. Um, you should also come out to our channel because it's awesome. You should like, subscribe to it, give it a thumbs up, share it, do what you got to do. Next adventure, we're going back into Charles Schultz's mind into the Peanuts comic strip. Yes, so make sure you stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. Bye!